We're talking about the battle against belly fat, something a lot of us deal with. It's not just about looks, it's also about our health. Now, you've probably heard about crunches and sit-ups for shedding that belly fat, but honestly, they're not the A-team here. The real deal is what you eat and burning those calories. With that being said, there are some exercises that can help crank up your calorie-burning furnace, making a dent in that belly fat and more. So, let's break down the top 10 fat-burning exercises. Let's kick things off with exercise number one, the medicine ball slam. It's a simple yet effective move that you can do with either a slam ball or a sandbag. Here's how to do it. Start by standing with your feet about shoulder width apart and place the ball right between your feet. Squat down, grab that ball, stand back up, and then, with all your might, curl it over your head and slam it down onto the ground. Give it your all and repeat this for a set of reps. You can do the same exercise with a sandbag using the exact same technique. These calorie-burning exercises are your ticket to shedding that midsection fat and more. Another effective exercise that will get your heart racing is the cable wood chopper. To give this one a go, set up the pulley at the bottom of a cable cross and attach a D-handle. Now, grab that handle with both hands, either by interlacing your fingers or placing one hand over the other. Get ready to move. Squat down, stand up, and use your core to rotate that cable from your hips over to the opposite shoulder. Keep those elbows almost fully locked out and repeat this for a set number of reps on one side before switching to the other. This exercise is all about building up those rotational muscles, which can really reduce your risk of injuries in your everyday life. For a serious calorie burning session, give the weighted burpee a shot. Grab a pair of moderately heavy dumbbells ones you can curl and press overhead. Here's the drill. Squat down, place those dumbbells on the outsides of your feet, and then jump your feet back into a push-up position. Do a push-up. Hop your feet back between your hands and stand up straight, lifting those dumbbells off the ground with proper form. Now curl and press those dumbbells over your head, then lower them back to your shoulders and repeat for your desired number of reps. If you're new to this, no worries. Start with just your body weight and step your feet out and in instead of jumping for a lower impact version. Kettlebell swings are another calorie torture. In just 20 minutes, you can kiss up to 400 calories goodbye, and that's like going for a brisk run at a six-minute mile pace. By the way, this information comes from the American Council on Exercise. Now, the superstar move here is the kettlebell swing. Here's the deal. Stand with your feet a bit wider than your shoulders, grab that kettlebell, and keep your focus on using your hips, not your arms. Lift it up, keep that core tight for a neutral spine, and swing it behind you. Now, really give it some oomph by exploding through those hips, sending that kettlebell soaring up to chest height with your arms out front. And here's the golden rule. Don't let this turn into a shoulder workout. Keep it controlled, and remember, it's all about those hips for a workout that'll torch calories and get that heart racing. All right, let's dive into the kettlebell long cycle. It's a real calorie burner, but only take this on if you've aced the kettlebell swing. Here's how it rolls. Get two kettlebells, plunk them in front of you, and grab one in each hand. Now, swing them between your legs, keeping your hands neutral. Here's the golden rule. As you thrust your hips forward, keep those elbows snug by your ribs so you've got a sweet little pocket to catch those kettlebells. Don't make the rookie mistake of catching them with your hands too far apart. That's a shoulder no-no. Once they're in the right spot, it's go time. Explode up with a push press while bending your knees and just keep the cycle going, swinging under your legs and popping back up for the number of reps you're after. But hey, this one's for the seasoned pros who've mastered the swing. Just a heads up, let's tackle fat head on with the versatile battle rope. There's a bunch of exercises to choose from and here are some to kick off your routine. First up, give alternating speed rope slams a shot grip one end of the rope in each hand, slightly bend your knees, and slam that rope down in rapid, wave-like motions, keeping that speed in mind. Now, for a real power move, go for the overhead rope slams. Use both arms and get your entire body and core involved as you slam those ropes down. And if you're up for a twist, 
Try looping the rope upside down across your body and give it a solid slam on both sides. These battle rope workouts are your secret weapon in the fight against fat. Ever heard of the Prowler? Don't be fooled by its simplicity, it packs a punch. Just load up some weight on the Prowler or sled and start pushing it back and forth. Aim to complete one lap with each push for maximum impact. And don't skimp on the weight, make sure it's challenging enough to give you a good workout as you push that Prowler. Another fantastic workout to get your heart pumping and focus on that transverse plane of motion are mountain climbers. If you're up for a challenge, step up your game with the TRX. Adjust those straps a bit above the ground. Situate yourself with your feet near the straps and cross them over. Then, get into a push-up position and start alternating, bringing each knee up to your chest. A blast of exercise to target that transverse plane is the hammer swing. If you're game for it, you can snag a tractor tire at a junkyard for a steal or even for free. You'll also need a long, weighted hammer, weighing anywhere from 5 to 15 pounds. Stand in front of the tire with a staggered stance. Grip that hammer with both hands and start swinging it in an arc-like loop around one side. Slam the hammer down using your entire body as it bounces off the tire. Then switch up your stance and do it all over again on the other side. Finally, let's get to the Turkish getup, a fantastic calorie-burning exercise. All you need is a moderate weight item like a dumbbell or kettlebell. Start by lying on your back, holding the weight up towards the ceiling. Bend your knee on the same side as the weight while keeping the other leg straight. Now sit up, using your elbow for support, and then extend your elbow, placing your hand on the ground. Lift your hips, slide your leg back, and plant it to rise into a lunge position. Stand up with the weight above your head, then reverse the motion to return to the starting point. You can repeat this for as many reps as you like. These 10 exercises are awesome for burning calories and helping with fat loss. But hey, don't replace your regular strength training with them. Use them as a bonus to speed up progress and burn more calories. Try doing each exercise for 10 rounds of 20 seconds on and 10 seconds off in your fat burning workout routine. We hope you like this video and are curious if you've already been doing HIT exercises. Let us know in the comments and share your thoughts. Don't forget to hit that like button, share the video, and subscribe to our channel to not miss any new videos. Thanks for watching.